Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Thank you for coming back to watch again if you're returning and if you're just catching up or just finding this. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, so today I am getting ready to sign on to work, having my coffee, <laughs> and um, getting ready to add a stripe. I've got about 20 minutes before work starts, so I'm going to try to get Day six, I did not quite get to day six last night. I was just tired. <laughs> I went to bed early. <laughs> early for me is 11.30. I'm <laughs> typically up till 12.30, 1 o'clock. Um, so I did not get to this stripe, but yeah, this is the next stripe. And then I need to choose. Let me just grab it. Need to choose day sevens. So these are the formerly Farm Girl fibers. Uh, now Raven Moon Dye Works. This is the advent. I think it was from 2019. I didn't get to use that advent, so let's choose Day 7's color. Ooh, I love browns and turquoises, so that's great. That will be the color for today. So I will talk to you again on my break or on lunch. I'm not sure which yet, but I'll talk again soon. Bye. Hello, back again on my lunch break. It's a quick, short one because the meeting went over. Um, but I am working on my um, next stripe. Six, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, six. Day six. So yesterday's color. And I still have to ball up today's color. So... This is probably not gonna happen till tonight. I'm hoping to get through this on my lunch break. Um, some mail came. I had ordered some more uh, heritage yarn from Maritime Family Fiber. Maritime Family Fiber. Um, from Briggs and Little. Heritage is from Briggs and Little. Um, it's a very bouncy, squishy, I'm going to call it a rustic yarn because most people probably would say they wouldn't want to wear it next to their skin. I have no problem with that. It feels, just so you know, it feels more rustic before you soak it. It does soften quite a bit after you soak it. Um, <clears throat> so I really like it. I made my uh, spark cardigan for Rhinebeck out of Regal, which is just a sport weight version. Heritage is a worsted weight version. So anyway, I got these from Lacey at Maritime Family Fiber. It's where I get all my Briggs and Little. Um, and she's always so sweet. She includes tea and uh, usually an extra little goodie, which this time I got a little tapestry needle. You can always use those. So that's awesome. Um, these colors are going to be for, I want to, I want to try to make a stocking. It doesn't have to be for this year. Oops. Means my lunch is done. <laughs> um, doesn't have to be for this year, but I do want it to, to have it to work on through the winter. So I have these colors now that I'm going to use. Haven't made a firm decision on these two yet. I think I'm leaning towards the more traditional Christmassy red, but this sure looks nice too. What do you think? What do you think? Vote for me down below in the comments. Real red this one is red or dark maroon let me know what you think okay so also I gave you a little sneak peek last night um, a little preview of what I was working on some yesterday and I have another little sneak peek so I've been playing with polymer clay I've been wanting to try it so I played and made a few things. Last night I had on the blue earrings and these are just, they're just um, sheets and I've put the little knit pattern on them and they have their little French hooks, I guess that's what the fish hook earring clasps. Yeah, they're so lightweight. That's what I like about the polymer clay. They're so lightweight. So those were dangles. These have the posts. Um, I made some red, red ones with the posts, with the little knit texture on them. I made, <laughs> they're supposed to look like little sugar cookies. 
with a mini candy cane on them. I got the idea for that when I got my progress keeper from the gnome knitter. And then I had star shapes. So I also did little star shapes. Oops, there we go. With mini candy canes on them. Uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I did dangle earrings. These, I some may know them, some may not, but have you ever seen the little Christmas trees you make out of uh, gradually increasing or decreasing sizes of stars. Well, that's what these were. So it's supposed to be kind of like a gingerbread um, star tree earring. And what else did I make? Oh yeah, I made little little swirlies. Where's the other one? Oh, I don't see the other one right now. But anyway, you can get. Oh, there it is. Um, like little candies, swirly earrings on posts. Uh, there we go just post earrings and I have several of these to do up yet but they're little candy canes and they're just little progress keepers with a lobster clasp and I think those are really cute I like those so I have a few quite a few more of those to do um, and a lot more of the sugar cookie ones to do whether I'm going to do earrings or progress keepers I don't know that I'm putting these on the the Etsy shop or anything like that. It's just, I just wanted to play with polymer clay and I thought they would be fun. Some of them are going to be Christmas gifts though. So that is it for now. And I am going to go grab my lunch and I will talk to you probably a little more after work. Bye. Hi again. Last little bit for Vlogmas Day 7. Getting ready to call it a night. And I just thought I would let you know I'm caught up. Yay. I made it to and through day seven of my 24 days of socks pattern by Potter and Bloom. And now I am caught up with one sock. I still need to cast on the second sock. So I may have enough in me tonight to at least get the cuff cast on. Oh, that depends on needles. I may not have any other needles that I can cast on the cuffs with. But I think it's only supposed to be like four days before the um, other needles arrive. So I can just keep up with these and get caught up when um, the other needles come. So anyway, there's that. The last little piece I thought I would do is my December yarnable box. I have not opened it yet. It's still sealed, I haven't opened it. So I thought I would do that. So anyone that has not opened their yarnable box, do not look <laughs> unless you want to have a spoiler. This is your warning. So I'm cutting the seal. All right, so the yarnable box is a monthly subscription box from Hypnotic Yarn. I'm not sponsored, I buy this myself. Um, but I really like it. It's either a skein of fingering or DK white sock every month. And she also includes cute little goodies that we'll go through here. Um, so you can choose, I, I think you can still choose one skein of whatever weight, whether you do fingering or DK. And the the kicker is <laughs> there's not always um, the availability to sign up for this subscription box. So you need to go to yarnable.net and if subscriptions are not open, which I don't believe they are right now, um, you can sign up for a wait list. And as soon as it is available to subscribe, you'll get a notification. You can also follow her on uh, Instagram uh, I think she has two accounts on Instagram, one for Hypnotic Yarn and one for uh, Yarnable. So you can look her up on there. And okay, so anyway, the yarn comes in a little bag, so I like to put it aside and look at the goodies and let this be the special surprise at the end. So little goodies come in, their own little bag. Let's see what we have. All right, so we get our card in here that tells us it's the December 2021 
tells us that this is Grape Crush and is brought to you by P Sugar Plum Fairies, Fresh Snow, and Twinkle Lights. Hmm, that's supposed to give you a little bit of a hint on what your colorway might be. So we have extras, and for extras we have Sip Stitch Enamel Pin from Channy P's Corner. Oh, cute! Sip and Stitch. <laughs> That's very cute. So that was Channy P's Corner. I'll put it down at the bottom here. And we have Sip Sip Knit Stainless Steel Straw Set. Oh, that must be what this is. Very crinkly, sorry. I'll try to minimize the crinkle while I get it out here. So a little bag that says Sip Sip Knit. Okay, I think that says, I think this says I-S-S-A on the top. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe the maker of the, of the straw set. Oh, nice. So you get your little straws, two of your straight straws, two, one of your bent straws, and the brush for cleaning. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> hold please. <laughs> Actually, two straights, two bends, <laughs> and a brush, <laughs> and their own little bag to hold that all in. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. If I can hang on to them. <laughs> Okay, and then we have a glass cling beverage marker, and these are designed by Yarnable, it says. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I think these are supposed to go like on your wine glass. <laughs> I drink and I knit things. Cute. Oh, this blue, this pink and purple. There's pink, there's purple, and there's bright pink and purple. Cute. This must be along the lines of marking your wine glass so that you know which one is yours. Good idea. If you have more than one glass of wine, you might need it. <laughs> okay, those are very cool. So, I'm getting the vibe here that we might want a drink when we're using this. So let's see. Oh, first of all, there's a little, uh, there's always a little scratch off down at the bottom too. So it's usually a discount code for a percentage off, free shipping, something along those lines for the month that you get your Yarnable in. Um, and she puts a little did you know on the cards. I think they're usually fun. So this one says the month of December originally had 30 days. Around 700 BCE, the month dropped to 29 days. When the Julian calendar was adopted, two days were added, taking month to 31 days. Well, interesting. There's your history lesson for the calendar of December. And oh my goodness, look at this. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's it's bright. It is as bright as it looks. That is so pretty. Pinks and purples and splashes of blues. That goes really perfectly. Brought to you by Sugar Plum Fairies, Fresh Snow, and Twinkle Lights. She interprets the, the inspiration that she uses every month so well. She translates it onto the yarn so well. That is so cool. I love it. So it's Grape Crush on her plush sock, which is a finger. I get the fingering. And it's an 8515 Superwash Nylon, Superwash Merino and Nylon. 437 yards and 100 grams. And soft and squishy. Oh, this is, this is gonna be fun. So there you go. That's my December Yarnable. 
that's my day seven vlogmas. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope that you will subscribe and like. Click the bell if you wanna be notified each time one goes up. Also check out my sister Judith. She's doing the Vlogmas uploads as well. And um, hopefully you will join me for day eight. Hope you had a great day. Bye.